five, a Harvard grad says she's suing the school for the way it treated her after she was sexually assaulted. That woman says Harvard mishandled her case and failed to protect her from harassment and retaliation. Bree Season is live in Cambridge tonight with the details. Bree? Lisa, Harvard declined to comment specifically on this case, but they did send us some background information about Title IX procedures they implemented in 2014. That's when the national conversation around Title IX shifted away from athletic opportunities to sexual assault. Coincidentally, at the same time, this young woman, Alyssa Leader's attorney, says she was making complaints about assault, harassment, and retaliation. Harvard doesn't want to admit that it has a sexual assault problem. Resolute, Alyssa Leader braves a dozen media outlets and without hesitation talks about what she says happened on her college campus. I carried pepper spray in the halls of my own home. Leader lived at Cabot House, as did another student she began dating sophomore year. Leader says her remaining time on campus was filled with sexual assault, harassment, and intimidation. In a Title IX lawsuit filed Tuesday, Leader claims she reported these events to Harvard, but Harvard failed to act, despite Leader reporting fear for her personal safety. And this lawsuit is about change and affecting change. Leader's heavyweight attorney says the school had an obligation to act when she reported her situation multiple times. Instead, a permanent restraining order from a judge at Cambridge District Court finally convinced Harvard to move the male student a month before graduation. I came back to the dorm and the first thing I did was stand in the middle of the quad and cry because I just felt like Finally, you know, I, I can feel safe here. How will they handle these cases in the future? I don't know, but they sure have done a lousy job today. Three months after they graduated, Harvard finally concluded Alyssa Leader's case, finding, quote, that there was nothing wrong had happened and that there were no grounds for punishment. As for a criminal case, Alyssa's attorney says, quote, that ship has sailed and that statute of limitations would be an issue in this case. And he notes that not all sexual assault cases make it through the criminal process. Live in Cambridge, Bree, season WBC News. David, back to you.